Hi friends, welcome back. In the last lecture, we have discussed about the Nyquist plot little bit. But I hope that one thing will be clear in your mind that Nyquist plot is nothing but the right plane analysis. Isn't it? In the Nyquist plot, we'll deal with the right hand side of the S plane. Till now in the root locus body plot or in the RH criteria, we were dealing with the left hand side of the S plane. We were checking the left hand side poles and zeros. If all poles are in the left hand side, we are saying the system is stable because no poles or zeros in the RHS of the S plane. In the Nyquist plot, we are not checking any poles or zero in the LHS plane. But we are saying we are discussing all these things or we 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 are shifted all this meta of study in the RHS plane. The the ultimate rule will be rule that what is the you know statement the statement is your system will be stable if and only if you don't have any poles and zeros in the RH split this point or this statement will be unaffected you are doing just R plane study in the right hand of the S plane you are going to study now means if you check the poles if you are not going to find any poles in the RH of the S plane immediately you will say the system is unstable ok so Nike's plot is nothing but the study of R plane only with some tadka its own tadka you know the special test of Nike's there is something that's why it's confusing among the students so today I'll you know I'll set the relationship between the open loop transfer function and the closed loop transfer function the inside of the Nike's plot today we'll see again and then we'll switch to the problems ok so we'll come back again let let me start the session the pole and zero configuration we'll see first poles and zeros configuration uh, what is this configuration let me take the open loop transfer function and remember one thing all this from the uh, root locus onwards root locus body plot polar plot nike plot all these are based on the open loop transfer function okay so open loop transfer function is nothing but you people know about this now and let me take in the form of numerator and denominator and as any problem so if you will talk about the closed loop transfer function so the closed loop transfer function will be what it will be gs and uh, 1 plus kns gs isn't it so this is nothing but ds gs and here it's gs plus KNS kind of isn't it so this thing these are the poles poles of open loop transfer function and these are zeros zeros of open loop transfer function now what about this definitely 100% these are poles but for closed loop transfer function and these are zeros of closed loop transfer function isn't it now the closed loop transfer function stability we can you know conclude for or the based on characteristic equation characteristic equation is responsible to check the stability of the closed loop transfer function it means I can say the closed loop transfer function has given the theka to uh, characteristic equation isne sara theka isko de rakha hai for the stability finding out isn't it so characteristic equation says 1 plus ghs equal to 0 ghs you have so let's find out the characteristic equation it will be 1 plus KNS and DS again 
it will be ds plus kns divided by ds isn't it now we'll see some relation over here very important relation so be careful okay now what is ds ds is nothing but poles of characteristic equation here poles of characteristic equation ds very important point on the same time the ds is where is the ds the poles of open loop transfer function also poles of oltf on the same time if you are saying let me change the color if you are saying the ds these are the poles of characteristic equation on the same time these are the poles of open loop transfer function also these two things are same isn't it now the next thing is ds plus kns this is nothing but the closed loop poles you can see closed loop poles on the same hand these are the zeros of characteristic equation this is the characteristic equation these two have the relationship this is the characteristic equation isn't it so the stability of any system is given by the zeros of closed loop system uh, 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 characteristic equation or not tell me this is the characteristic equation who is responsible for the closed loop system stability the characteristic equation is responsible what you will do in the characteristic equation this denominator part will go out because we are comparing with the zero so you will remain with this these are nothing but the poles of closed loop system and for the stability we are looking for the poles only not for the zeros isn't it if you will say or i'll ask you find out the closed loop stability you will deal with the denominator term of the closed loop transfer function because these are the poles isn't it so if you are dealing with this means indirectly you are dealing with the zeros of characteristic equation or not so this two points are very important or not or the outcome of this study or not now now we will check what is this now let's come to the this principle n equal to p plus minus z plus this is the nyquist plot in the nyquist plot we'll see this condition only now you have to under, understand what is this p plus what is this minus z plus according to uh, this formula this n is the encirclement first of all this n is nothing but the encirclement n circlement of which point minus 1 plus j0 point okay because 1 plus gh equal to 0 for the closed loop stability so this will be minus 1 plus j0 so this will be our reference point that's why we always check the encirclement around minus 1 plus j0 now what is this p plus you know this p plus is nothing but the poles of characteristic equation in rh plane plus means we'll see it into rh plane only the rh plane only p plus i'm saying is poles of characteristic equation poles of characteristic equation in rh plane okay so poles of characteristic equation in rh plane now let's come over here poles of characteristic equation where is the poles of characteristic equation ds and ds relation with the open loop poles both are same poles of characteristic equation is nothing but the poles of open loop transfer function so can i write the poles of open loop transfer function in this one is also in the rh rh of s plane okay 
so this is p plus according to this formula you have to remember this thing only that what are the p's so in the question you will be given with the open loop transfer function in the open loop transfer function you will get poles and zeros so these are the p but in the rh of s plane this p plus is nothing but see poles of open loop transfer function in the rh plane but in actually inside of this you are studying the closed loop system stability only because these are equivalent to poles of characteristic equation this is inside a story but you have to deal with this only this is the outside story now what about z plus z plus is this is nothing but the you know zeros of characteristic fish in the rh of s plane so p plus here is nothing but the poles of characteristic equation z plus is zeros of characteristic equation but according to the rule we established you can see zeros of characteristic equation is nothing but the closed loop poles so these are nothing but the closed loop poles in rh of s so please be careful p plus is nothing but the poles of characteristic equation in the rh pen z plus is nothing but zeros of characteristic equation here this is the characteristic equation but according to the relationship this p plus is nothing but the poles of open loop transfer function into the rh of s plane and this z is nothing but closed loop poles in the rhs of s plane closed loop poles remember see closed loop poles okay so relation is nothing but p plus minus z plus now you tell me if your system is stable your system is stable listen carefully your system is stable so tell me what will be the value of this tell me closed loop poles in rh of s plane will be zero because system is stable you do not have any poles in the rhs rh plane of the s plane rh of s plane isn't it so for the stable system this term is zero means n will be equal to p plus for the stable what we are doing and what why we are doing all these things for the stability purpose only so for the stable system the encirclement will be always equal to p plus if you are going to find this you will say directly this is stable system z plus should be zero always for system stability why because z plus is nothing but the closed loop poles okay so z plus is closed loop poles and p plus is open loop poles open loop poles both are in rh so now formula is very easy to remember p plus minus z plus p is nothing but the open loop poles z is nothing but the closed loop poles both are poles okay this is very important formula and this is the relation also okay so the encirclement will see in the last time last lecture we discussed about the mapping theorem in the mapping theorem only you encountered with this n encirclement open loop poles is clear Open, uh, closed loop poles is clear but what is this encirclement how it will come into the nyquist questions okay in the next class we are going to discuss that one only so again i'm telling you the formula of the nyquist is nothing but n equal to 
P plus minus Z plus. P plus is nothing but open loop poles. Z plus is nothing but closed loop poles. And this plus indicates RH of S plane. For the stable system, N should be P plus. The encirclement should be equal to P plus. So this is all about this class. In the next class, we'll see some more. For new updates, subscribe to Gatematic and please do not forget like and comment. Okay? You can find us on the Facebook for the doubt solving. We'll meet in the next lecture. Till then, take care and bye.